Hello, Emily Elizabeth in YouTube. So I almost forgot to rewind today and I meant to do it earlier and then I was totally doing not not rewinding things. So um, today I'm going to rewind about when I first learned to knit because I've been doing some knitting recently and um, I mean honestly I'm doing knitting a lot. I, I like to knit. It is my it is my thing. I like to do it. It's fun. It helps me concentrate sometimes depending on the class and I like making things because I think it's fun. And I also um, have been working on this project since um, over a year now. And you've seen some of the squares that I've put in it before. Um, and also you know when I teach you people to knit. So I, you know that I do this thing. This is a thing that I do. Um, I wanted to talk about kind of what I remember about learning how to knit and remembering things that I used to think were super awesome because I knew how to knit. Um, I've known how to knit and or crochet since like second grade, probably earlier than that. Um, when I was really, really little, like baby, um, I was a horrible child and my parents called me the baby from hell. So like, this is not me. They, I am the reason they did not have more children. Like, I was a terrible child. I, I apparently slept eight hours a day in ten minute increments. Go me. I was a wonderful child. Um, and so when I was really little I used to be with my mom all the time because she was the, pretty much the only person who kept me calm down or like more calm than in other places um and so I um grew up on my mom's lap and she used to sew a lot and she had a sewing room and I loved it fantastic um and so I learned to do all these crafty things when I was really little because she would she made to do things so I knew how to like cross stitch definitely by first grade like first grade I was already cross stitching because I remember making a crayon, a crayon, like Crayola crayon. I don't think I finished it, but I remember starting it in like one of the summers when I lived in my house, um, back when I lived in Buffalo, um, when I was really little. And so it must have been first grade at the latest. I remember like teaching my friends how to crochet in fifth or sixth grade for our Girl Scout project for our bronze award. We crocheted scarves and put them on the warm tree. Um, at our church, which was really awesome and uh, super fun, and so like we were all sitting on the bus um, crocheting, and I've taught like five or six people in my life to knit, and I just love knitting and crocheting, and I was thinking about how little I was when I first learned how to do it, and I even made up a stitch, like, because my mom would teach me things, and then she'd kind of forget about it, like, she'd kind of forget that she taught me, and I'd go off and like, not do it for a while, like, I, I made up a, a crochet stitch like I thought I knew how to double crochet but I didn't really know how to double crochet I just knew how to do like a crochet thing that I knew how to do I like single crocheted and then I added it it was really cool like I went in I think it's an actual stitch it just wasn't the stitch I thought it was you go in and you crochet once and then you go through one of the loops and then you go through two of the loops instead of um, wrapping around and going in and coming back and then going through two and going through two if that if you are a crocheter, hopefully that made sense to you. Um, so also I'm planning on commenting on Emily and Liz's videos, but I think it'll be a really long response. So I'm probably gonna post those on my pro um, my personal channel. So keep an eye out for that. I want to know what like crafty stuff you guys were into when you were real when you were really little. Emily, I can't wait to see what you have for us on Friday. Bye guys.